to the power outage map this morning where a lot of you are without electricity this morning. Some half a million customers in western Washington in the dark right now because of those heavy overnight gusts. 300,000 from Puget Sound Energy alone. Let's get to Jarrett Tomlin live on the phone this morning. He's with Puget Sound Energy. Jarrett, it's been a busy night. Thanks for joining us. It has been a busy night. Uh, you're right. As of 5 a.m., we're seeing around 300,000 customers without power across our service tor territory. And uh, we've opened up our local storm bases to gather crews and we'll be working to assess the damage, hmm. which is really our first step in restoring power. How do you prioritize an outage this large? Who gets the power first? Um, as far as that, we still need to go out and assess the damage, see what damage is done. Um, those main transmission lines, those are going to be ones that we'll look at. But really going out and seeing what areas, what damage is really out there is that first step. And this process takes time and crews may be delayed as the weather is still unsafe out there and remains an issue. What's the timeline for folks? I know it just varies so much from block to block, but can you give us a sort of idea uh, for this is sped up video, by the way. <laughs> um, can you give us an idea of what exactly could the timeline could be for folks? At this time, we don't have an estimated time of restoration, and we understand how difficult it can be without power, especially with so many of our customers working from home, navigating remote learning. But our crews are rallying. They're going to be out there um, being safe and making sure they can assess the damage to see what's done and uh, try to work to get power still restored really as quickly and diligently, diligently as possible. So it could be through this entire day, potentially, Jarrett, you're saying? We'll be working through, but customers should prepare for extended outages and just uh, um, we're going to be working through this weather and uh, what damages we, we find as we assess it. I, I have to say in my over a decade of covering weather here in western Washington, I, I can't remember seeing this many people without power all at one time. I don't know if you've had those discussions with your crew, but how does this compare historically? Am I putting you on the spot? At this point, it's too early to determine. Um, we're still working through all this with getting our storm together, so it's still yeah. too early to determine at this point. But one thing we do want to mention, and you mentioned as well, with the downlines, we do recommend that our customers stay at least 35 feet away from a downline. Yeah. And if they see one, please call us or call 911 immediately. Excellent point. Jared Tomlin with Puget Sound Energy will keep checking back. Thanks for getting up with us. We appreciate it. Thank you.